Never trust a prostitute that tells you she doesn't want your money. The truth is, she wants more money. A lot more money. Let me tell you a little story about a girl I once met called Johnny. So in 2013, me and Yolandi broke up and Yolandi got a boyfriend and we stayed cool and everything. And I started dating mad fucking bitches because I was in a crew called the Antwoord and we were blowing up all over the fucking world. And I discovered this thing called Instagram and this thing called DMs. And my DMs were fucking mental. There was boobs and vaginas and ass and messages from girls all over the fucking world. And some of them were really fucking hot. And one of these messages was from a girl called Johnny from Australia. So I checked out Johnny's Instagram and her photos were banging and she was fucking slamming hot. I was like, fucking hell, this hot girl from Australia. She had like a porno blog also. Like, I didn't know girls had porno blogs. So it was like a massive DA fan who's mad hot with a porno blog. I said, hey, how you doing? We started texting. And then she's funny and she's fucking flavor and dug cool music and we like clicked full on 100%. And I was like, this chick's amazing. And she was saying, like, yeah, I've never been to Africa before. And I was just like, mm hmm. And she was like, it's my dream to see elephants one day. And I was like, we got mad fucking elephants here, pull the fuck over. And she's like, are you serious? I was like, yes, I'm fucking serious. So I got her a ticket. And I'm at the airport waiting. I'm like mad excited to see this girl. I've been texting for a few months. I'm like, you know, it was a massive fucking build up and the doors open and I walk Johnny and I'm like, oh, oh fuck. Because you know that song by The Weeknd that goes, um, you look even better than the photos. This was like the opposite of that. And I was like, this is not what I ordered on the fucking menu, but fuck, we get on so well, we like click, let me see past this and just try and make the best of the situation. So, you know, we went to stay at this like fancy fucking resort. We popped some champagne. We went to go see the fucking elephants. We had sex. We took like nude selfies and just no matter what we did, it just wasn't that dope as this fucking online thing I had with her before. So, I made up some fucking excuse that I had to do something, cut the trip short, she flew back to Australia, and I was like, thank fucking God, like, that's over. But then Johnny kept on hitting me up on text, you know, cause she was obviously crushed on me and I didn't want to be a dick. And so I was carried on texting her on and off for a while, just being nice. And two years later, we played a big day out in Australia. And Johnny said, hey, can I work for you guys as a personal assistant? Cause we vegetarian and she was like vegan. And we were like, I was like, okay, fuck you, Lani. This chick wants to work for us as a assistant. Are you cool with that? She's like, yeah, it's dope having a vegan assistant on tour. So Johnny was bringing us food, but like being a little bit irritating cause she still had a thing for me. And I was just like, I told you, Lani, I don't really, can we maybe cut this shit short? And Yolani was like, nah, the food she brings is dope. And she's like, mad sweet. And, you know, she is a sweet person. She was like, at the time, like really nice. But then I noticed something. We were touring with a whole bunch of other rappers and like Johnny bumped into 2 chains and gave him her number in the first 10 seconds after meeting him. And I was just like, fuck, Johnny is a star fucker. And, you know, again, didn't want to be a dick about it, but I was like, oh, I thought I was special, but I was just, you know, another rapper that Johnny had. I know there's probably a couple of rappers on her hit list. So after the tour, I was like, you know what, fuck this shit. I deleted her number. I really, to be honest, I didn't really feel like a star fucker texting me and I kind of forgot about Johnny. Then recently something came to our attention that Johnny's attempted, this was like fucking five years later, Johnny attempts to launch a rap career by making up these amazing fucking stories that 
she was trafficked to Africa and tortured in some sort of fucking satanic ritual by me and Yolandi. Suddenly, Yolandi was in the mix. And, um, fuck, all this other fucking mental bullshit. And uh, we were just like, what the fuck, okay? Our friends are hitting us up, telling us about the shit. Then some of our DA fans um, did some investigation about who this girl Johnny really is. Turns out that Johnny is um, a Satanist and an online prostitute of sorts that offers a service where she does these satanic uh, rituals that you can pay for with a credit card and wank to. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this is the girl that came to visit me, fucking hell. And one of our fucking fans paid for one of these services and showed me all the nasty ass shit that I didn't want to actually fucking have in my memory. But anyway, that happened. And so now we all know the truth about Johnny. So um, good luck with your rap career. And whoa. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, if any of you are interested in checking out Johnny's satanic wank porn um videos and images that one of our fans bought and posted that i'm actually trying to blank out of my brain but um check out the link below